We're waiting on the Fed to tell us how much this is worth. We're waiting on them to tell us if this is gonna be worth less or worth more. I believe that they will pause on um, raising interest rates or there'll be some kind of hawkish news. There might be some type of uh, a negative idea. And then that's going to crush the stock market. Right now, the stock market looks crazy already. All of this is contingent to, I don't know, I haven't seen the inflation report recently, but if they're not close to 2%, then they're going to raise more rates, you know? So the outcome to my portfolio is if they raise rates, then there'll be a cutback on inflation. Might take a haircut. Welcome to the Freedom Culture. Here at the Freedom Culture, I like to discuss current events in the financial sector, breaking down blockchain technology and this digital economy in the most understandable terms possible. Whatever comes out of this meet is going to have an impact on the cost of your food, the cost of your rent, might even cost you your job. If you don't know, the FOMC meeting is a meeting that's being held eight times a year to determine where they want the economy to go. Right now, the Fed is set on the interest inflation. They're set on trying to drop down inflation to 2%. Prices go up with inflation along with devaluation. If things aren't affordable anymore, if things are too expensive, then they'll eventually look to print more money. And I just came from the store and spent like $40. I only got like two, three things. Like it's ridiculous. So if they don't do anything about the inflation rate, we also have to worry about devaluation. Too much money in circulation. If we got the interest rate going up, that makes the dollar stronger and sucks the dollar out of the economy. And can't forget about recession interest rates going up we got to worry about recession as well because businesses is going to have a harder time with borrowing money but 60 percent of america is small business that's where 60 percent of jobs come from we've given nothing to them and so they're struggling because the fed has raised rates up to five and a half percent in a matter of months to stop inflation theoretically right and yet we still have full employment under four percent unemployment so the small guy the business between five and five employees he's been cut off at the regional bank level they're not letting the loan books close down the rates that he pays for money have gone from four to five percent to eleven to seventeen and we're not talking about them but you're going to hear a lot of people crying about this in the next few months because they can't borrow anything anymore and they can't run their businesses so if business businesses don't have access to capital as uh, easily as they do if we're, or if it's more expensive then they're going to have to cut back and the first people to go is employees so the unemployment rate will rise out of that so they also got to consider that and there's also a possibility that they'll do quantitative tightening quantitative tightening is basically just tightening it raising the interest rates just a little more just a little more but either way it's not a good look for the economy because if they if they raise interest rates, it's going to scare a lot of uh, investors and the stock market is going to go down. And if they don't raise interest rates, it's going to affect the economy because inflation is still going up. So it's just not a good space for somebody that's not an investor. You got to be in this game. If you're in this game and, and uh, inflation is going up, then you're you found a way to, to beat inflation. I mean, not financial advice, but you beat inflation. Inflation goes up assets is going up so if you're a smart investor and you invested in the right assets your money is going up along with the prices your net worth will continue to grow you know what i'm saying so if you just got money in a bank account that's not giving you any kind of interest then that money is going to stay the same as prices is going up and how much is your bank paying your bank is supposed to be paying you so you gotta think smarter this is the time for investing because Cash is trash, you know? The only time you wanna use cash is if you're gonna buy an asset to get you more cash. This is the time to make your money work for you. You know what I'm saying? We have large finance moguls like Larry Fink, Jamie Dimon, you know? We got these large, big, big guys. But most importantly, what I think about most of these cryptocurrencies, it just identifies how much money laundering there is being done in the world. Flipping their statement, I mean, flipping their sentiment on what they said on, about cryptocurrency. Is it true that you're building out a cryptocurrency capability? Uh, no. Don't your clients want crypto exposure? No, I don't believe any client has sought out crypto exposure. They used to say some ill things about cryptocurrency, not anymore. Yeah, I, I was skeptical because the early users were, it was heavily used for, let's say, illicit activities. And also I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it, it's digitizing gold in many yeah. ways. Let's be clear, Bitcoin is an international asset. It's not based on any one currency. You invest for retirement because you believe tomorrow is better than today. They're calling it a f uh, flight to quality. They're actually calling it a safe haven asset now. All of these 
assets, you're looking at the most valuable software to solve problems of what's going on right now. So here's what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm waiting to buy the dip. <laughs> I got some cash to the side. I actually took some profits from this recent bull rally that we came across. I don't really ride things all the way up to the moon. I take my profits really soon and then I put it into other investments. I keep it moving. I keep a long-term bag also. It, I can't get no bullish than, than what I am, you know? These assets are, we're at the very beginning of a hell of a ride. There's going to be massive amounts of profits to make out of this industry, this crypto space. I'm just glad to be an early adopter. Uh, it's caused me to gain a lot of experience. I learned about how the Fed works, <laughs> the creature from Jekyll Island, learning about how this money system works, learning how money evolves and put yourself in a better position because they don't care about you. We're all waiting on how much we're waiting for the Federal Reserve to tell us how much is our dollar is worth, you know? And the only safe haven happens to be, apparently, cryptocurrency. <laughs> Bitcoin equals one Bitcoin. The dollar equals what the Fed says, you know? So I like taking accountability and taking control of my own finances and knowing how to maneuver around what these guys are, are doing. And because of that, I've gained a lot of success and I've made it through a lot of difficult times investing and doing a lot of research on cryptocurrencies and this new digital blockchain technology so if you're interested click on the links below get at me we have book on the way we have discord on the way we're just looking to inform and get people aware of the fourth industrial Re revolution and what's going on and being able to profit out of the situation because there's millionaires that come out of every depression which we're on the way to but not to end it on a gloomy note <laughs> like comment and subscribe i hope you have a blessed day get out with me on the freedom culture peace i'm long-term bullish when it comes to cryptocurrency